Um, Acacia, uh, Congresswoman Acacia Cortez now. Critics are calling her out for being what they call tone deaf in a complaint. AOC said in an Instagram post that her six figure salary just isn't enough. Members of Congress make about $174,000 annually. But she says because lawmakers are required to have homes in both Washington, D.C., and the state they live in and represent, that the money doesn't cut it. And you say what, Jason? So I say certainly the timing is not ideal. She's not wrong, and believe me, I hate having to agree with AOC, but I do think that when you are requiring someone to have two residences, particularly in high cost neighborhoods, you are self limiting the type of person who might want to run for Congress. But there are a lot of really good people who simply can't hmm. afford to run because they can't afford to be lawmakers. Maybe we should at least have a conversation about stipends for housing, not for some of this other stuff, but for housing, I think is a reasonable conversation, especially when you consider all of the hours that some of these folks are putting on when they work and live or excuse me live on the east or on the west coast and have to travel to the east coast so i do think that there is a bigger conversation here's faulkner and her guest jason rants we're discussing aoc frustrated about their salaries as Congress people and in the cost of living in multiple places. We've heard this before from politicians and a lot of times they get a negative response. But their conservative Jason Rance is upset that he actually had to agree with AOC on this one particular issue. And I think there's some nuance to it there actually, at least from my opinion. But um, uh, uh, Harris Faulkner was definitely looking for a bit of a bash fest that didn't come up. Let's go to some more details of what AOC was complaining about and also what Jason apparently begrudgingly was agreeing with. Because members of Congress make an annual salary of 174 thousand dollars and as uh, that's in this year 2022 an amount that was set in 2009 congressional salaries historically have been automatically increased every year check this out in response to cost of living increases it's like they know that cost of living continues to go up but to their credit Congress has annually voted since 2010 not to accept that increase and despite the higher than average salary from these Congress people, AOC argued that the requirement to occupy two residents makes things costly for those with working class backgrounds. And it can distract from legislating and campaigning if members choose to rent rather than buy. Hmm. Uh, one more piece about this whole thing, because uh, with this whole dilemma around the housing and how much they're making, it's enough to uh, change Harris Faulkner's mind. Maybe we'll see if she has more to say on this if she's been flipped. So I do think that there is a bigger conversation. I just wish AOC wasn't the person who was bringing it up because she is not a good example of anyone anyone wants to lead. She's an insufferable millennial. So she's still right though on this, just wrong time, bad time. Yeah, that's really fascinating. So if we don't want people to be tempted, then maybe we as a society and those on Capitol Hill have to take a look at our expectations for where they live and how they represent and all of that. That's really, really interesting. So really, really interesting. But then some random person in Nebraska, let's, let's go a little bit more expensive. Uh, California, New York, Florida, Michigan, with cost of living going up crazy like it is, this is like maybe we should consider that things are different. Now, uh, Jackson, my one thing, maybe this is where the gray area is. Um, you can have the complaint. And this is more of AOC thing, 174,000 a year, two residences, DC's super expensive. I think New York super expensive. How do you keep this up? I understand, but um, maybe let's not talk about that right now. Uh, I understand she's on the right side as far as working class folks and getting them their positions on stuff. So maybe keep this part to yourself because look, I live in LA. Let me complain about, oh my God, yeah, I live in LA, you guys, it's great here. But you know what the problem is, is sometimes you get sun sunburnt hanging out in all this sun, it's year round. It's Maybe beach. don't include that part. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I was just, I was just laughing at what you said. Exactly, like all this beach and all these people and yeah. all this culture. It's so terrible. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, no, nah, I mean, I, I do think that's because um, I, I wasn't even going to say that, but I do think that that is a very good point. That you know, maybe this is something that you just kind of keep in personal conversations, just in light of everything that's going on. However, right. um, the reality is, is that. Um, well, first and foremost, let's point out that Harris Faulkner, when she was like, oh, like she's never considered the fact <laughs> exactly. that only two homes in DC and, and New York, because she's up here in New York, may be a little expensive. But the reality is, is that with the rising cost of living, 174,000 a year now to just, you know, maybe a regular person, regular working class family, yeah, that's great. But that does not qualify you to be in the owner class. You can't really own nothing with 174,000 a year. I mean, you can get a bunch of credit if your credit's good. But you know what I'm saying? The people who are really truly running society, that's like, 
one of their bills for one of their utilities a month. So, you know, that that's really the, the scary thing about it is the people who really have the wealth in society, 174,000 is like a joke. Nothing. Nothing, Nothing bro. <laughs> Check out some of the like again, I know I live in LA, it's probably one of the more expensive cities in, in the whole country. Um, so when you look up and you see some just random ass house and you're like, oh yeah, that's you know, probably not gonna be that much. And you look at it, it's like nine hundred thirty seven thousand dollars. Bro, it's crazy. It's literally unattainable. Yeah. And I think they know that. Oh, so yeah. 174,000 a year for something like that just doesn't make any sense. You have to be a millionaire in order to literally own a two bedroom house. At least in this. Yeah. It's how these things work. But again, I, um, I don't know. It's it maybe it's a, a situation needs to be addressed, but just maybe we should address some regular folk situations at the same time. Agreed.